things out by middle. And there again, there's plenty of information gathering tools here for Luminosity, including the Sentry Dome. Dre will find first blood, and with only 37 seconds to play, you've got to make a move of your 100 Thieves, and unfortunately, they also drop their Spike Carrier. Not exactly the well, well put together round for 100 T. And as the kills continue to be traded back and forth, it will be LG left with a 1v3 situation, or pardon me, a 3v1 situation. It's Asuna who's stuck as the one. Has to be a 1v3 here. Has to be the biggest clutch, and he'll get traded here for sure. In fact, he doesn't even get a kill. Is able to sneak away to safety, and I say sneak selectively, or maybe not. Moose able to combine utility with the weaponry for two. Proto now pushing forward, finds number three. Does he recognize that Hiko's also nearby? Well, now he sure does. Sees the shoulder. Can wait for a little bit of help as Hiko will find one elimination before falling, but it does leave Nitro to a 1v4. Pretty much flawless here as well. They dropped the one Spectre so far. I mean, if Nitro gets a double dink here, it could be a, a secondary whip and drop by LG that they won't have to repurchase. But no something like it'll be a pretty clean anti-eco for the next round here. Don't really expect uh, Nitro to do... Um, maybe? It's a little bit of damage. Meanwhile, while that kind of clearance by Asuna came through, it's enough to allow Hiko to get a Hunter's Fury of his own. So a 4v5 post-plant setup. Well, now made a little bit more difficult as Deep enters with another engagement win. Proto up close and personal. Will be taken down. Ethan inside the dark cupboard is holding on for dear life, but it's Dre who finds the kill. Trades back and forth. A 4v2 retake looking solid, but we've seen Hiko in this position no do way. more extraordinary Hold things. On. Hunter's Fury, as expected, will come through. Nitro on the flank. Finds one on the exit. Dre going to try to go for a bit of a stick on the plant. Able to find it through halfway gonna do more than that hiko being pressured they're gonna hold off on defusing for now hiko finds another kill but he's not in range to contest so the defusal will come through and lg take a very and gets the plant laid and that's the thing ethan and the rest of the hundred thieves they managed to get a lot of control of the map view this very aggressive wall over towards screens lg with the only solo anchor there being a proto can't trade for one now hundred thieves in a great spot as soon as still doesn't have a weapon they can't quite pick up the drop gun but they still have plenty of members and again i remind you the resin play as well for this post plant nitro on the lurking roll ethan asuna gonna be good enough for three nitro cleans up the final wings that's not really advisable he probably goes down no instance for a trade either Dre almost an opportunity should be double child here but wait a second finds one nearly a chance at a second and now 100 Thieves, as expected, start to take some power over the A site with the more formidable weapons. It comes down to what kind of counter damage we can have out of this. Even the res as well for the tempo. So you can see the 100 Thieves, they really do value as much eco tempo as well. It's been a decent number of kills. If you consider the res coming into play, what is that, like three kills overall? Yep. So 100 Thieves are now committing into this one without much information on what's on the site, including Dre, who does find one elimination. Paranoia is going to come through, but it's going to be the paint shells that actually force him further back. And while he is, it's Hiko who's now made things a 4v4. Really important that Dre lives here, by the way. As soon as he decides to go up the rope into top site to try and get this, uh, try and get this uh, showstopper all some value on to sell it and then speaking of the showstopper i mean so does eventually die but it's going to be a 3v3 where deep is the one that actually gets the kill here low numbers now in this final two remaining for 100 thieves trying to hold on to the push line big help from thief and now he goes pushing through finds one tries to snap gets a second looking for his fourth kill in total in the round why not have yourself a birthday sir to expect fireworks i think and well also is not going to wait just go straight through but dre was here waiting for it finds a second behind the play as well hiko with the early hunter's fear to see if he could stall any defensive rotators to get in the site is now thinking that that was used relatively empty as dre is going to find all three kills just playing from that back left corner hiko finally sick of it but it takes him off the board but might be just a day, day late and a dollar short here or the 2v4 is still to kind of navigate for 100 thieves you see that's a really good read by your boy dre who has i now i think now seen a couple times that it is going to be a sooner aggressively double packing all the way to the back of the site he goes kind of the same way every single time as well so all it really takes is one time for dre to know the timing of it swing by know probably where a sooner is going to be in the air find the headshot required and take him down no shopper involved at all the last 30 seconds hundred thieves going quiet and maybe try and force lg away but this is going to be it now moose gets the kill just one alive for a steal and he'll get cleaned up. Well, he finds one. I think. Is this his <laughs> lockdown as well? But there's only 15 seconds to play. He does not have this spike. He will be able to recover it here. A bit of trapeze artistry going on. But this is going to be contested. And well, as it is, Stellar from the high ground mation through the middle of the map. He does tag up a couple in Proto from the flank. 
collapses onto three. Beautiful timing between the two of them. And Luminosity, big round here in what was a 5v2. But Ethan and Hiko together are definitely not to be ruled out. One thing they have on their side is time. They have Hiko alive as well, which is always good to have a late <laughs> round. Aldron's gone. The recon's not up for another 25-ish kind of seconds here. Thief gets a timing and with Hiko down. Ethan in a 1v4 and potentially even a 1v5, considering if things get really, really bad, so they can go for the rares. But Thief Spike also being committed, but the defensive showstopper comes out, does take down Nitro. That's the Spike completely taken off the field. Also to trying to move his way forward, finds one. Knows it's a second up top as he sees the ponytail of the Sage, but instead just tries to play the OBJ. Steel watching over, finds another elimination. 3v3 we go, but the retake quick to come through as the lockdown is also planted in place. Asuna could even get away from this right now is the real question. Steel for sure can, but Asuna has to go towards danger. Gets taken down and oh, the Tane also gets in. Steel cannot fully get away. The chase is coming. Can he recover fast enough? The answer, no. Stellar sticking for the defense. From this location, Thief trying to do what he can to stall it, but it's unsuccessful. But while turning back over, it's going to be Thief and Stellar who find a couple of headshots before 100 Thieves can fully set up their post plan. So now it's going to be oh. down to somebody special to make a play, and well, now it's just down to Nitro, does find two. The problem is he's so far away from the rest of his teammates, he could only get one res into play. It is Ethan, and well, there's the push through. Moose will confirm technically four, and LG will exit the half seven to five. We'll send things over to a small break, swap the sides, and get a little bit of a recap before we get Shifting towards B early on. The thieves, can they respond? Ah, uh, dicey fight. <laughs> just barely getting the better of Asuna, but steal. Responsible to blast pack play from Thief, so we stay even 4v4. And how about this? Actually, the spike is still not planted yet. Again, a little bit of artistry here from Steel as he finesses on the ropes. He will find elimination, and that is not a spike plant in the mix. So we go 3v2 after everything is all said and done in favor of 100T's defense. And still no spike plant either, so this is going to be very difficult now. Segments of the wall have been broken as well, so it's not entirely safe. The smoke try and cover at least the opportunity for Moose to get a plant in. He's not gone for it just yet. There's still a lot of danger lurking around. Your boy drowned to HP though. And limited time here as well to try and get everything done on his lonesome 1v2. There might even still be a heal coming up for 100 deep, so this doesn't get easier. Oh. And we'll read it. Steps down. Nitro gonna slow the approach, at least from one side. We'll force LG over towards Ethan's direction in which he finds the first try for the second. Why not? How about a third up top? No, but the trade will be there. Three for one exchange. Nitro cleaning up the pieces just down to a proto. And he's already been figured out inside the dark cover. Beautiful clearance from Austin to just playing. But no utility sent out. Now finally the barrier orb comes in. Proto will also be scouted down by the Al drone. And as he does, the play through the middle of the map will come through. Meanwhile, though, off screen, Stellar finds one of his own. So it goes 4v4. Stellar looking to get the plant off, and he once again gets shrugged backwards. Thief on a bit of a flank play, only able to get one. The Hunter's Fury is also in the mix. That's from the offensive luminosity. But 100 Thieves have already once again stopped the plant and retaken the B site. Flash has come through as well. Smoke's come down over towards yellow. There's going to be very limited support coming through from Moose for the rest of the round. Unless he wants to try and swing by, he'll do that. He'll go down challenge this plant or just find the kill as soon as the exit comes through he will do the ladder finds the easy elimination now we actually have a true 5v3 nitrous is going to immediately stick for at least half of this he's going to stand up maybe for a little bit longer but as he does it's luminosity who are able to pick up the pieces a bit of a flank coming over this is also to try to make his way in finds the first kill a bit of panic but things will calm down for just a moment now a 1v1 raise on raise Showstopper, blast pack over the top, what? and oh, Asuna blindly takes down Thief, clears the space with every bit of utility. Throw admit, he was detained as you mentioned, but he will be able to recover, and now technically 100 Thieves have given up the site, but they could play for a full surround on the retake, in which Ethan already has found first blood. The race is available, but they have to go back to that one. Right now, they're pretty hard to meta. Asuna on the Thief again, Asuna go big, three kills. And Asuna right now, he's carrying on the performance for not just the last round, but the last map as well. This entire day, 100 Thieves, five plays alive, a flawless round, 11 now and six in a row for 100 Thieves off the back of major heroes from Asuna. How many kills is he on? This is 20 plus for sure now. Here's the thing, for Luminosity, you've... <laughs> I hate, I, hate, I was going to say survived through a handful of ultimates, but you didn't. But you've got an opportunity here with a showstopper and res of your own to 
try to reduce this gap, but Asuna has other things in mind. Steel also just spamming through the double box, trying to get as much damage as possible. Oh, oh my, my God! goodness! Asuna, what in the world? They know exactly where the last player in a proto is. He's gonna be stuck between a rock, a hard place, and an Asuna, and oh my goodness, a hundred teams. Be an understatement now. The scoreline is incredible. It's it's two in a row as well in terms of not just the rounds that we see. One here versus Proto. Yeah, why not? He's so <laughs> sharp, man. He's too sharp. He just flicks the head. Can't challenge him. You can't challenge him. You have to mark him with like two people now. Okay, Moose will get it through the wall at least with an ultimate soon. He's like, that's cheating, buddy. And LG right now need all the help they can get. They need a lot of help as Higo's going to slow down this plant, prevent it from coming on through LG. They might even want to think about... No, they can't go for the risk, can they? They would love to make this a 5v4, but I think it would be too dangerous. Now about 40-ish kind of seconds remaining. They are moving the spike all the way off. Potentially going over towards A. Nitro will be the only responder there. That's if Ethan doesn't spot a rotation over towards mid either. Thief might just want to stick around and lurk to keep the rest of uh, 100 Thieves interested. Left. But we'll see how many members of 100 Thieves actually start moving around the map as LG themselves are not super decided. They move to A and now come back to B. Yeah, Ethan will get a little bit of a read here as well, so they should know that this is going to be a pretty last-second hit. I think the question is, what do you do to deal with Steel right now? I mean, he is locked up. The sentry turret is in a solid position. Ethan watching the opposite angle. All right, let's go to a set. 4v1 situation. Dre, not enough time for a plant, not enough time for the kills will initially stall the play, but LG not going to hesitate whatsoever. Ethan by himself keeping a dark cover into play to see if he can stay alive, and he does one better by finding a first elimination. Also, now help is here for 100 Thieves, as this pistol was unfolding very quickly. Steal for a second, but still, Luminosity fighting back, trying to at least. 2v3, last members for LG underneath, and while well, Moose has single-handedly done everything for this Luminosity offense, as they dodge one of the shock darts, and things slow for a moment as we go 2v2. And thankfully, Moose is alive as well because he's got a lot of utility still in there. So the recon coming on through. Trying to go for the plan here, being covered by Dre. First contact. Dre's not looking the right way. Nitro finds the time to get the headshot and will convert onto Moose as well as allow for now. Steve used to come on in, handing over a couple of frenzies. And what it looked like, maybe Moose and LG were in for a bit of a heroic round there. Hika will make the rotation over. And as the wall breaks, a slow orb will take its place with... Also behind that, some paint shells. Shotguns versus sheriffs in the mix. Steel now making his way forward, and whoa, Proto is able to respond, but again, it comes at a pretty steep cost. Two v four situations. Proto would have to do a lot more. Gets caught on the reload. Hiko finds the kill, and Knight. Um, and Dyna Steel that way just kind of sucks with the individual. Well, now LG gonna force a square peg into a round hole as they move forward through a ton of utility from Steel. He even steps into the dirt cover. Hiko there to watch over the top. Last two members are Proto and Dre. Neither will do too much damage. The site. A little bit of wall bang coming out. Steel not gonna be able to find too much off of that, but Asuna from behind. There's number one. How about a second? Maybe just using the paint shells to confirm the third. Yeah, oh. last bullet will actually do it. One more off the reload. Why not? And 100 Thieves just have to track down one, and it's Proto by himself. Later. <laughs> the three-pointer, the, you wow. know, no-look toss. LG, the run it back also committed to Stellar. We'll make sure the site is clear of any utility. But meanwhile, off-screen, it's actually Steel who finds the kill. And actually, beyond that, the spike is not a part of this hit right now. They're going to wait for the Phoenix to go back, so Stellar will bring it on the site. And that gives an opportunity for 100 Thieves to work their way in. Resurrection comes through. Neural Theft as well. And Asuna will find himself another elimination. Stellar Stella. still keeping himself alive. 2v2 situation. Curveball up top. He does see the flash, but it does not matter. It gets down to a 1v1. Proto 80 HP here. 9 armor as well. Goes for the fake plant. Pico, is he gonna peek? Should know that a proto is playing somewhere around Jen. Saw the camera location coming on through. Gonna battle some shock darts and Hiko. There's the damage we're looking for. Historically really good on the sheriffs. So we'll need to see him land some of these taps. No more utility for Nitro. Gets tagged. No slow arms are here, but the help from Asuna comes in in perfect time. Ethan mid map able to lock down the rotation from LG through market. And as Hiko gets involved, 100 thieves will go flawless. And a 6-0 start, as would it be expected, the only thing Steel has been so good at, locking down with rifles, and that will once again be the case. 
The run it back also going to come through for Stellar using even a curveball and a Leer to clear out some of the space. It also gets the Alarm Bot and a Nano Storm, so tons of utility down. Steel will give up his position for a moment, but it doesn't make a difference because Asuna locks things down from the side. And I mean, there hasn't been a clean look at a spike site yet, largely for Luminosity. Eco picks up after Moose and Stellar find two. It leaves Moose in a 1v3 situation. And he'll go for the kills as well. He'll try and challenge this one. Does delete the one, but look at all these blue members that are running at him. Ethan finds the kill, no problem. Completely caught oh off boy. guard. Asuna finds more. And Luminosity, well, at this point in time, he's mentioned a required round. They can't even get through cyber cages or buildings right now. I want everyone to know I'm not picking on the guy. I'm just reading the scoreline. That's it. I'm just That's, I'm just hey. spitting the facts. That's it. That's all it is. I feel bad. I feel really bad for what's happening to Thief in this game. I feel bad for LG so far in terms of what is about to be 0 and 10. Uh, not just for Thief, but also for the, the, the team's rounds here. Asuna can't miss some shot. What's really happening here is Asuna, he, the reason why he's on such a heater is he cleans up three kills. Or deleted. Run it back will be spent. Stellar the first one forward with the Spectre. Has a Leer to also assist for this. Knows there's a player up top. He can still be able to find one. Steal another. We go two for two overall. Now as the hit continues that to come through, it's Asuna from the flank. Ah, oh boy. Still no Empress. Asuna up top trying to change the angle. Frodo, decent flick through the wall, mm. finds the kill. So opportunity starting to brew. 2v2 situation, and Thief is actually able to put it all onto the shoulders of one. It's Nitro for the 1v2 that he'll have to break down in a post-plant setup. Planted. Here we go. LG's round is finally going to come into play. There's not going to be a resurrection for Nitro either. He has a decent amount of utility, and instantly, Thief with a headshot coming. It's, it's, it, it's a totally different matchup, though. This is versus a team like 100 Thieves, who I would have said this. I would have said this. If, and by the way, 100 Steel is just completely fragging, what? so it's kind of already over. The reason why I'm not even really covering too much more of this is I'm just really expecting 100 Thieves to come through massively and clean up 12-1, and then eventually maybe the 13-1. LG will force by next round predictably, and then I don't know that they're going to be able to win that one. 100 Thieves were a team that even if they lost the first half, I would have still looked at the second half and hate favored them anyway. But now with Nitro getting the kill to Stella, 4v2, low HP for 100 Thieves, they might have a heal available. I don't know that LG can do much more. I can almost hear just like a steel maniacal giggle after he finds those two sheriffs. It's, it was off screen, right down the main, right over towards Catwalk. I mean, <laughs> what in the world do you say about it? It's goodness. Plant down, barrier blocking off heaven. Spy cam, thanks for trying. LG 2v4. Now, a couple of members are low, so this sheriff from Proto really can't do a lot of work as <laughs> I think Nitro and Asuna had a bit of a conversation. Of, Why didn't you heal me, man? But coming over <laughs> through the side of tree, Eco's going to have a recon bolt, and Steel's just not missing headshots, apparently. Going to get the better of only one, but the pistol. This game versus Gen G, they you know, they pretty much have won the lower bracket final. Now they're going to go up against FaZe, and I think there's a strong argument to make that they could probably win the grand final there. I don't want to underestimate FaZe because they've gone to the grand finals all fair and square. This is the going to be the final buy, I think, for LG. They're going to force into this one. Honestly, it would be a miracle. Fight for Luminosity. Austin has been the first one to check of which Thief is here to try to contest it. Shots just a touch better for Asuna than it was for Thief, resulting in a first blood, and now 100 Thieves have the numbers to try to push their way forward, and they will. LG, do you try to contest this? Well, your attempt to will be stopped, and Asuna up top, a little bit of parkour to get on top of the barrier. We'll find one more. We go 4v3 where LG need to get a retake, and Stellar's first headshot will make life just touch easier. It is workable, the numbers at least working slightly better for lg i don't know that they have the right equipment here it's going to be mostly sheriffs they haven't really picked up any guns on the floor time will start running out now smoke plus nano swarm on the ground a decent post point you can see how far away steel is you also have over towards three nitro playing as well ethan gets the kill a second and that might be the game 13 and 